Here's a newsflash for you. You probably didn't know the Doran breed needs a ton of exercise. All right, fair enough. It's probably not a newsflash unless you've been living under a rock somewhere. But uh, that's actually probably one of the first things most people hear about the Doran breed is how much exercise they need. Well, it's true. They do need a lot, but it's really a lot more doable and manageable than many people realize. And with a smart gadget like this cool smart collar here, uh, it actually can be a lot of fun in the process. So let's exercise my Doberman Arlo today and learn all the ways that this might actually end up making your life a whole lot easier. We're actually gonna have a lot of fun today exercising my dorm and Arlo and you get to see it every step of the way. But before we jump into that, I think we should tackle the very first question and that is how much exercise do these dogs need every single day? Well, in general, most Dobermans need one to two hours of exercise every day. I say in general, because not everyone's the same, right? They're their own individuals. Some are on the lazier side and they can get by with a half hour a day, whereas others are from working lines and very, uh, got lots of extra energy that they gotta work out and need more like three to four hours every day. So it does vary. And certainly younger dogs will have different requirements from older dogs. But the key here really is to make subtle adjustments in how much exercise your doberman gets, see how they behave, and just go from there. Very quickly, you'll get dialed in to what the right amount of exercise is for your dog, depending on how relaxed they are throughout the day. Sounds like a lot of work, but honestly, it's a lot easier than you might think. And we're gonna do it here in a minute with my Doberman Arlo. Okay, so how do you know based on your Doberman's behavior if they do need more exercise throughout the day? Well, I think it's fair to say that most Dobermans do need more be, uh, exercise. I would certainly say that Arlo needs more exercise throughout the day. I think that's fair to say for sure, but there are some specific behaviors that you can watch for. Now, the first one is destructive chewing. So they're chewing up things they shouldn't, maybe they're destroying their dog bed and that kind of thing. That's a really common way that Dobermans let out some of their anxiety that they have pent up, which could be due to a lack of exercise. Um, also an increase in neediness. I say increase because some Dobermans are naturally more needy than others, but if they're following you around more, if they're jamming their head in your lap like Arlo's been doing, um, if they're doing that, oh, that, that yelp bark that Dobermans do, that's a, that's a signature Doberman move. Sounds like a cross between a yelp and a bark while they're staring at you, really pierces the ears. If, uh, if they're doing these types of things, that could really indicate that they need some more exercise to calm down. Uh, swallowing objects that they shouldn't swallow other than food, that's really dangerous for a Doberman, honestly. Um, high energy outbursts, you know, when they get their butt down low, they arch their back and they, some Dobermans call us, uh, Doberman owners call us the zoomies. They go around like in donuts, they go crazy. This happens a lot between like uh, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. at night for a lot of Dobermans. Um, if that's starting to happen more than normal, then that could be a sign. Uh, also a lack of focus, especially during training, could be a sign they need more exercise to really help mellow things out and focus their energy on you. Uh, general restlessness, excessive barking, that's a way that these dogs let out their anxiety when they have built up anxiety. Uh, and then generally excess weight, which is something you should definitely talk to your vet about if that's going on, but that could be a sign that they need more exercise as well. Now, these are some of the most common things you'll see from a doberman who potentially needs more exercise or at least has additional anxiety from something going on. Now, that could be caused by other things and not exercise, of course, and if you're worried about your dog, talk to your vet, but you know, for dobermans, most of the time, it is exercise. Okay, so what are some really fun ways to get your doberman some more exercise? Well, my doberman Arlo here has been feeling a little cooped up lately. I can tell. I'm seeing some of these things on this list that I described to you. Um, he certainly hasn't been getting his one to two hours of exercise every day lately. Uh, my wife and I have been working a lot more than normal, and I think he's starting to feel the effects of that, um, which is definitely making me feel bad for him. So we need to get him some more exercise, and you're gonna see how we're gonna do that here today. Okay, so first I wanna make sure that Arlo's smart collar is all charged up and ready to go to track his progress today. This is not something I have to do very often because this collar ch stays charged for a very long time, but I really wanna make sure that we don't miss all the activity we get today and make sure Arlo gets all the credit for all the work he's about to put in. Okay, so let's put the smart collar on Arlo here. And uh, when we do that, we'll also load up the Fi uh, smart collar app on our cell phone and take a look at where we're starting for Arlo. All right, let's open up the Fi app here and it says Arlo's at home, so that's a good sign. And if we look at the steps, we can see where he's starting at. He's starting at 4,116 steps so far today. He's gone zero miles because he's just been running around the house. Uh, he's only at 25% of his daily goal, which is 16,000 steps. Now, if we click on the rank here at the bottom, then we can see how he ranks against all five dogs. He's in the top 51%. All Doberman Pinchers, 
uh, all the dogs in my town, all the dogs in California. It's really cool to see how he ranks. Now, these are weekly stats, so these won't update uh, just from his high activity today, but it'll help his overall week, that's for sure. Okay, I think we should start off with a little bit of time on the flirt pole. It's been quite a while since he's eaten, so I'm not at all worried about getting him too much activity after he's had food in his stomach. So uh, let's get going and have some fun. Come on, Arlo, let's go. All right, I think we took the edge off of Arlo. He's definitely pretty tired. Come here, bud. And um, I think we should take a little break and go for a nice walk together. Now that we've taken the edge off, you should focus a lot better on his walk. Remember, you want your walks to be successful ones because every walk on a leash is a chance to reinforce leash training, no matter how old or good your dog is at walking on a leash. All right, buddy, you wanna go for a walk? All right, come on, let's go. Well, we've done a lot of foot pole work and we went on a really good walk. I think we're doing pretty good tiring this guy out, but I know there's one more thing that he really would want to do, otherwise he's gonna get very mad at me, and that's going to the dog park. We can't have an activity day without the dog park or he's gonna get very upset. But I think we need a break first. So Arlo, why don't we go inside and uh, take a little break? Ah, come on, bud. Well, I think we're well rested now. I think it's time we get onto the last activity of the day and get on over to the dog park before it gets too late. Come on. Come on, Arlo. Okay, we just got home. Let's take a look at the Fi app and see how much credit Arlo got for his steps and how close he is to his daily goal. Let's take a look. I'm opening up the Fi app right now, the Smart Collar app. And now remember, we started the day off with 4,116 steps, which is about 25% roughly of his 16,000 step goal for the day, which to be honest with you, is still a pretty low goal. Uh, but let's see where we're at now. Okay, it's loading up here. It looks like it recorded our walks as actually, our, our big walk as two separate walks because we did take a break for a while after we got to the park. And let's see what his steps are for the day. Look at that, 36,000 steps. And we went 4.2 miles total. Uh, and uh, yeah, we 224% of his daily goal. That is awesome, we smashed his daily goal. Uh, and let's take a look at the leaderboards. They should still be the same. Yeah, they're the same because uh, it, they're weekly leader, leaderboards. And, but as soon as this is calculated into our week, I got a feeling Arlo is gonna jump way up these leaderboards and really smash the competition. Guys, getting your dog the exercise they need is certainly a lot more fun and a whole lot more motivating when you got a smart collar like this, which is a GPS collar and you know something to track the steps, the miles they've gone. This even tracks sleep time uh, and a whole lot more. Really guys, the GPS feature on this smart collar is really awesome. It paints like a line on the map everywhere you've gone for your walk or everywhere your dog is which is cool. And it has lost dog mode, which I really like um, because if your dog's lost, you activate that and it updates your dog's location much more frequently because you can just drive right to your dog's location. It's got virtual fences, which is awesome. Um, if they leave your area, like your home area, you paint a little virtual fence on a map. If they leave that area, you get boop, boop, a little notification right on your phone to tell you Arlo has left home or Arlo has left work or Arlo has left whatever you uh, label your fenced area. Um, and this thing is not cheap. This is brushed aluminum. It's waterproof, dustproof, 300 pounds of pull resistance made out of metal. These aren't plastic clips. Um, I just really like this a whole lot. The other cool thing about this collar is like other smart collars, it does have a monthly subscription, but it's actually really inexpensive. And it's the only one of the smart collars that I've seen where you don't have to get a monthly subscription to use it. Um, which is really cool. They give you the option to buy the collar only and not the monthly subscription. It'll mean you get less features, of course, like you won't be able to do live GPS tracking of your dog on a map or see past health activity reports or notifications when they leave their safe zone, but you will still be able to see when your dog's at home because then the collar will just connect up to the base station at your house and 
you can see when your dog is out on a walk with one of its owners, for example, because then it'll just connect to the cell phone they have, you know, in their pocket or whatever. I still think it's best to at least start off with the service. I mean, it's super cheap. You'll get to see all the features in action, decide which of them you like the most, and then you can just drop the service later if you really wanted to. And honestly, guys, all the wow features aside, the best thing I like about it is it's just motivating. It just motivates you to get out there. It's like that, you know that wristwatch? What my wife used it all the time. You know, it measures your steps and you can like compete with friends and family members how many steps you got for the day. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank on what it is, but uh, what the product name is. Uh, but anyway, it's like that, but for your dog. And it's really cool to have that feature for your dog, especially with an active dog like a Doberman. Um, this does have a killer battery life compared to the competition. If you compare the battery life of this compared to any other smart caller, it just kills it, which is awesome because I only charge this thing in real life use with Arlo probably like every two weeks or so. It, and it sends me an email when it needs to be recharged. It's awesome. And my phone has a little alert come up. Um, and it has this little cool remote light, so if we're out doing something in the dark, it's getting a little dark, I just activate on my cell phone, boop, I see a little light come up on its collar from a distance. It's a, it's a cool little motivating thing. Now, if you want to pick this up for yourself, just check the description down below, guys. Um, I put a link to the Fi collar down there. Um, also, I did pull as many strings as I could with the Fi people and got us a coupon code that you can use. It does take a good chunk of the price off of this collar, uh, which of course is always helpful. Oh, and one cool thing about this smart collar I forgot to tell you about is it the Fi app is awesome because it's almost like a little social network. Like you can compete with your friends. Uh, if you've ever emailed Doberman Planet, you may have gotten a response from Karina. She's part of the Doberman Planet team. And Karina has a dog named Timber. And Timber has a Fi collar also. And me and her compete all the time. Now Timber is not a, uh, a Doberman, but he's still good competition for Arlo because he's pretty active. Uh, but it's really fun. You can post pictures of your dogs. You can like them. You can comment on them. You can kind of like root each other on. Um, it's just a really cool, fun, motivating little social app built into it. Just remember, guys, one day like this is great, and it's a lot of fun to do, and really good to take the edge off of your dog. Um, but the real lasting change comes when you work this more into their daily routine, and they get this ongoing exercise that they crave so much. So definitely get out there with your dog, work it into your daily routine, and you can reap the benefits for a long time to come. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Uh, so hey, get out there and go do something fun with your dog, would you? All right, I'll see you next time.